Hello YouTubers, this is Jordan Blakey the Liver Flush Man here today going to teach you how to make uh, cr uh, crystal and, and gemstone uh, chakra water, healing water with that's holding your love and intentions for purifying the water and um, holding the intentions for the chakra stones to heal the chakras of the body, um, rise up the kundalini energy through the spine, through all the seven chakras and out the uh, crown chakra. So we're going to go through these stones and what they're used for, for cleaning the water and purifying the water and, and sending loving intentions to the water that you drink. Um, this is especially useful for people that don't have a water filtration system as well. You can add this to your filtered water if you have a filtration system as well. We're going to go through each of these shown stones and how they correspond to the chakras, what they're used for, some of their healing uh, qualities, and uh, all right. So, all right. First of all, over here we got a, a, a nice display of crystals here, all different kinds. All right. Um, these are the ones specifically I'm using for cleaning the water here for different reasons, and I'll go through the different chakras of the stones here, each stone. All right. So the 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 chakra system goes from the root all the way up to the crown chakra, right? So there's seven, there's seven major chakras, five plus two is seven, and uh, the, the first chakra is the root chakra. Those colors correspond to black and red. Then the second chakra is the sacral chakra, uh, chakra which is connected to the genitals uh, and uh, vagina, the, the sexual organs, and that, that color is orange. Then we got the power chakra. We got that's uh, all located in the abdominal area, which has to do with breathing, with the uh, uh, diaphragm, which has to do with the power of your soul and breathing, life force, prana. It's also called goes by the name the hara. All right, and that is yellow. So we got black and red, the root chakra. We got orange is the second chakra, the sexual chakra, then we got the power chakra, yellow, then we got the heart chakra moving up and that is green and pink, alright, green and pink, uh, pink you would recognize as, um, as uh, like uh, a loving color of course, alright, and then we got the throat chakra which is blue, alright, I don't know if you can see these too well but these are blue, then we got purple, and then we got quartz here and these are the typical colors of stones that correspond to the seven chakras all right and you can also um, look at a rainbow a rainbow goes in the same colors as the chakras if you look at a rainbow red orange yellow green purple indigo all right or um, or go you can go it goes by red yellow orange, green, blue, and purple, all right, depending on which way you look at it, uh, violet and indigo are also in the rainbow, but uh, in this case, um, I'm going to go through each of these stones and what they do for purifying the water, right, the number one purifying stone for the body are these five stones, these two little ones on the side and this one, this name is black tourmaline, okay, this is black tourmaline here, and black tourmaline, one of the reasons why it's so good for cleaning and purifying water is because it helps to dissipate uh, the chlorine and the fluoride as well as chloride and fluoride. So it, it pur uh, purifies a lot of the, of, of the chemicals that go into water and tap water, drinking water to keep bacteria and microbes out of the water. All right? So this will help purify that as well, if you want to purify chlorine, chloride, and chloride, and chlorine, um, all, all the, uh, those, you can let the water sit for 24 hours, all right? That's also a way to evaporate the chlorine and chloride, all right? But um, that's going to happen anyways because these crystals are going to be charging in here for a while, all right? All right, so that's the number one uh, cleaning stone, and also because these are black tourmaline little gemstones and this is the black tourmaline uh, in its raw form without being polished here and uh, and so the black tourmaline also produces negative ions alright negative ions are like antioxidants that wipe out free radicals which cause aging so negative ions 
are, are, are found naturally in, with, with ocean waves and water, uh, the, the, with the ocean, all right, from the wind and the waves, negative ions are generated, as well as by waterfalls, negative ions are generated. Places in nature like that, negative ions are generated, and they are very healing for the body, all right. Then we got here, these two on the sides are apachateers, all right. This is another black stone, another root chakra that's going to help in the grounding of your energy, all right. Then here we got hematite here, another root chakra stone. Hematite is uh, is a little bit metallic-y looking, but it um, it it actually has a magnetic uh, a magnetic field like a magnet. All right, magnetite is slightly magnetic. Goes by the name magnetite because it's magnetic and it's easy to remember. And the magnetic energy is used also in the power of these of these stones because what what has been found uh, by this guy Patrick Flanagan who invented something for NASA when he was 15 years old he um, he was a, a rocket scientist and he he began to uh, study the people that were living the longest on the planet and these people were in the Himalayan mountains and they were living on uh, every every a lot of people were living over a hundred year old 115 people were 120 and so on and so on more people than anywhere in the world living the longest in certain little villages in there and what he found was that the water they were drinking was coming up through the earth and there was like hematite there was magnetic energy as well as other crystals which actually was spinning at a perfect rate of spinning that it caused the hydrogen bond angle to change to the water from pentagonally sided which is five sided to hexagonal sided, which is six sided, which made the water more permeability to the cells, more absorbable to the cells. And uh, so he also went on and invented crystal energy drops, which you can buy at health food stores, and you can probably find it online, as well as microhydrin, which uh, were both amazing. Microhydrin was like a super antioxidant and uh, the crystal energy you added like I believe six drops to water I've, I've got a few bottles before they're around 90 or 100 bucks each and uh, and you add six drops to the water and that changes the hydrogen bond angle to the water and this is more way more hydrating to your body alright it's, it's amazing it's called crystal energy look it up research it the guy's name is Patrick Flanagan who invented it so we're going to use these um, these hematite to also you know with our thoughts and you can also go in the water and spin it with a stick or your hand or whatever you want you can you can spin it with a spoon or whatever and that and then that's you're, you're holding the intention of you know uh, of, of healing he making the water healing and using the magnetic field of this to activate these stones as well so we're still at the root chakra here we're gonna move on then to these two stones here which are snowflake obsidian you can see they got little snowflake white things on them and it's a black stone with little white snowflake blocks uh, snowflake obsidian another root chakra grounding stone then we got here two little ter double terminated quartz uh, these are smoky quartz that's why they got a little bit of a smoky color a little bit of a gray black tinge to them and double terminated means that they're pointed on both sides naturally like that they're terminated with the little faucets on both sides of the stone like that double terminated so that energy goes through both ends they're very nice uh, smoky quartz then we're still in the root chakra but we're changing the color now black and red is root chakra here are these two stones at the bottom down here they're hard to see they're hard to see I don't have the best camera but they got little gold um, uh, flakes in them um, these are called Tibetan gold. All right, Th these are made by the monks in Tibet, and they're f it's found in Tibet. Uh, this is an amazing root chakra stone. All right, then here we got red tiger's eye. Here, red tiger's eye. It's a, it's a, of the tiger's eye family, and it's a red tiger's eye. So there goes the root chakra stones. There we've explained them. We got the black tourmaline the apacheteer, the hematite, the snowflake obsidian, the two double terminated smoky quartz, the uh, Tibetan gold, and the uh, red tiger's eye. All right, so there's the root chakra. Now we're going to the second chakra, the sacral chakra, the sexual chakra here, 
which is uh, which is orange. All right, so orange. These ones are carnelian here. These are carnelian. These are amazing right here, carnelian. And uh, oh, two more stones I would like to add to this here. Uh, these are these are red garnet right here. These are red garnet. So that's the more for the root chakra. This is uh, orange. This is carnelian. Carnelian also comes. Uh, in uh, yellow and red colors, um, and, but this is the orange carnelian. Another orange one you could get that would be good would be an agate, uh, an orange agate. All right. Then we're moving up to the power chakra here, the yellow ones. Uh, this is tiger's eye. This one's tiger's eye here. These are those are two tiger's eye on the sides. This here is yellow calcite. All right. And yellow uh, calcite is really good for the skin as well. So we got the calcite, and then here we got citrine. These are citrine gems right here, have been, uh, and 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 these are all going through the, just the stones, the colors, and the chakras today. Because this video could take a long time to go through which each stone does. They all have many different healing properties. Now one thing is, is there are some stones, uh, gemstones, and and crystals and things that are also not as friendly to the body and uh, could be considered a bit even toxic on one level. Now, now, if you start uh, experimenting with different stones and stuff, you know you can't really hurt yourself with these stones. I'll I'll, I'll point out a few that that have potential toxic effects. All right, the obvious ones would be like mercury of course you probably know that like the Mad Hatter and they put mercury in fillings alright mercury is a heavy metal which uh, causes stress in the body alright mercury we got lead lead is very stressful to the body you don't want to put those kind of stones now gold and silver those are great those are two great in the metallic stones a lot of different metallic stones aren't so great such as uh, mercury and lead and stuff like that but uh, those are the obvious ones, and then one other one in the gemstone I'm going to point out is 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 fluorine. All right, fluorine is usually purple and green. All right, I went in a fluorine mine. I found this is also some green fluorine here. Now, fluorine actually contains uh, natural fluoride and fluorine, which is you know what they do put in the water uh, to help uh, keep microbes away. So in that way, you know, even though some fluorine uh, it, it is good because it keeps the microbes out of the water. So, you know, you, you use your discretion, but because it contains fluorine and fluoride, um, I typically don't want to use it because I'm. Tr that's what my point is to get rid of chlorine and chloride, um, and uh, you know, and and have filtered water where you don't need fluoride and fluorine to kill the bacteria and the microbes because there are better ways. The fluorine and fluoride is okay in the body in small doses like you get in tap water but still depends on what level of toxicity of your body you're going for and what your goals are so so um, that's just the obvious two there um, lead and mercury of course those are really not good at all like I wouldn't really recommend using that whatsoever alright but all these stones I'm using here are very safe and very healing for the water so um, so here we go um, We've just moved to the power chakra. We've gone through the uh, tiger's eye, the citrine, and the yellow calcite. Then for the heart chakra, the pink and the green for heart chakra, we got green calcite here, um, good for the skin as well, skin, hair, and nails. Then we got uh, chrysophase here, all right, chrysophase. Then here we got uh, green adventuring. This is adventuring. All right, the heart chakra stones here. This one is rose quartz. All right, rose quartz is an amazing uh, uh, love and compassion energy, um, unconditional love. All these heart chakra stones. This is a piece of of jade here, as well as this ring is a piece of jade. Jade is green. A heart chakra as well. Then here we got unikite. Unikite is green and pink, so this is a, u a, un a uniting, unification of consciousness and awareness. Unikite is red and green, very powerful. The jade there, then we got, uh, this is green amethyst, alright, really amazing, and I can see even in there some rainbows going on with different colors, but green amethyst, amethyst and amethyst is very connected to the crown chakra and third eye. So we got uh, two green uh, 
amethyst and then here we got pink rhodonite here rhodonite another love chakra all right then we move up on the chakras we move up to the throat chakra here here we got uh, soul delight this is soul delight a blue stone for the throat chakra speaking your truth wisdom communication and then we got uh, a blue tiger's eye here which also goes by uh, hawk's eye all right hawk's eye or called blue tiger's eye all right and then we got here lapis lazuli all right that goes by lapis and that's a throat chakra as well then we move up to the third eye chakra here and we got uh, these are amethyst stones here polished and tumbled then we got uh, uh, three different uh, pieces of amethyst crystal these two are very powerful and then this one as well and then we got uh, here we got uh, ametrine ametrine this is amazing because this has got citrine and amethyst if you were able to see this up close by yourself there's a, it, it, it's along the family of these citrines here it's an amethyst with uh, citrine in it all right amethyst so they call it ametrine ametrine all right there's two of those and then this is called super six and i ordered this specially from a metaphysical shop and this uh, stone was it, it, one of its properties is to develop psychic energy is uh, specifically telekinesis and and uh, uh, yeah telekinesis and telepathy telekinesis is the ability to move objects with your mind and uh, of course telepathy is to be able to read read people's thoughts and minds and have a close connection to people all right and then here finally for the uh, crown chakra because th this is uh, this is throat this is third eye and crown here amethyst is very connected to crown too each of these uh, correspond you know if we're talking about the second chakra here this one also has a lot of root chakra and third chakra each chakra has a bit of the other two near it because they're in close resonance so the heart chakra would also have a bit of the power chakra and the throat chakra but it, if we go to the, the the third eye chakra here this is very much connected to vision like inner vision closing your eyes meditation dreams you know things like that mental energy and especially the third eye between re located between your two eyes for inner vision and uh, things like uh, psychedelics and mushrooms and things and then we move up here to the crown chakra here we got quartz crystals here we got uh, we got some calcite this is white calcite again good for hair skin and nails and then uh, we got uh, uh, some quartz crystals here three quartz crystals these are transmitter crystals which help to pro you can program the transmitter crystals to hold the energy and awareness and send and send the love into the water and then here we got uh, this is this goes by um, this is from this grows in it's called apophyllite alright and they grow in these pyramid shaped forms like this sometimes in large clusters and this is uh, comes from mostly from India apophyllite and uh, this is amazing third eye and crown chakra connection and then finally here we got termalated quartz which means there's little tourmaline crystals those little black ones if you can see them and they're all hold it up to the light here uh, you might not be able to see them but there's little there's little black tourmaline uh, wands going through them there so there we go that's the uh, that's the all the the the, the stones for making chakra love water intentional love water here with crystals crystal love water and what we're going to do is we're just going to place these into the bottom of 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 your bottle here this nice glass of course you want to use glass and not plastic and uh this is going to purify your water and 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 be good for healing your chakras and uh you know as you're putting the crystals in you want to put loving intentions and thoughts towards uh, the the uh, the crystals and program them to do the job of filtering and cleaning and sending all their healing energies into the water all right and uh, so that's it there all right that's that's how to make the crystal love water all right I hope you learned something about the crystals and the chakras with the colors and uh, yeah it's uh you try it for yourself it's gonna be awesome make your own love water
intentional chakra love water. Thanks for watching. I'm Jordan Blake, your liver flush man. Alright, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.